Hello everyone, today we're going to covertly assassinate someone in a military installation, so that means we can't trigger any alarms. We're in phase 3 at the moment, and I think a few things changed with how bases uh, react to you towards the end potentially. So, we are going to get our level 3 access, or at least level 2 access as normal. <coughs> Normally the guy we have to assassinate is in the command centre anyway, so it helps to have level 3 access. So we're just going to run around and have a, a little look and see if we can steal some guy's identity. So I do have a bounty on account of murdering a bunch of people, so I can't let anyone scan me. Normally I, I go into the HAB building first because it's you don't need any access to get in there and you can get level 1 access off of someone. We do just need level 1 access to get through the front door of the command centre, but we can't get really much further than that. So we'll just go in here. Entering pressurized environment. Hello, sir. Okay, bye. Hello there, don't mind me. I'm just in your dormitory. Can you look away, please? Nothing to see here. Don't mind, don't mind that, that noise. Okay, okay. Okay, wants me to put it away. Okay, fine, it's away. You happy? I'm just going to crouch walk over here, don't mind me. I've never went through so much trouble just to steal the identity of a level one chimp. Come on, look away. Alright, look, look, I'm away, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay. Security profile closed. Thank you. So now we can get through the front door of the command center. Entering Should be able to steal level 3 access, or at least level 2. Hello. Don't mind me. Oh, you've only got level 1 access. Well, you're not used to me. Yeah, you better run. Hello. Right, this guy, this guy now, he looks like he's level 3. Yes. Don't mind this loud scanning noise behind you. I'm not doing anything wrong. Right, so if we turn off the alarm, then nothing can really go wrong as long as we don't die. So if we look through this door, we can see if there's a guy by the alarm terminal. And we can see there is. So we really need to wait for him to leave if we want to be super covert. Oh, and that's our target there, Bryant Castro. Okay, that guy's leaving. So when he leaves, we can go in. Now what I like to do is, I like to walk as far away from that door as possible, so that it doesn't open for very long, so they don't see me in here if they were watching this way. So that's the settlement alarm off. And 
and we're scot free there. So now we can go back to the level 2 security door and have a look for that guy. So we can just wait here, we're not, we're not in a restricted area. Oh, there's the guy, he's back. Hello, have you ever seen what a rocket looks like? Mission status updated. Warning. Right, let's cheese it. So the alarm isn't on. So now normally... Okay, the base defence has aggroed on us, but it's not targeting us. Normally it would just be... It wouldn't even aggro on us, but... It's not firing at us, which is the same. So it is our, uh, so it is like angry with us, but because the alarm is off, it's not going to shoot at us. I wonder if that's changed with the um, the sentry skimmers as well and the Goliath. Okay, well, we'll just get in our ship and be scot free. Okay, we'll board. And let's see. Now the Goliath. Oh, okay, I, I got stuck on something and the frames are really bad. This is bad case shields are gone already. A lot of stuff firing at us here. It must be sentry ships and the Goliath. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's bad. Go oh, hell. Why are they still chasing me? It's hard to see. Right, okay, taking quite a lot of damage here. Just as well how I should have stacked with armor for it if I was in the big guy already. Okay. Still taking a lot of damage there. This could be problematic. Okay, I'm trying to escape but because I was travelling so fast horizontally. With 28% of my health spare. Couldn't have planned it any better. Well, except for the nearly dying part. So, taking off is a bit dodgier now, I suspect. <laughs> 